to remember Bosino Wutle. They were both members of the few and um, activists, spoken with artists, uh, people who believe in um, written art, and they passed away um, uh, in 2006. Wutle died on the 1st of April 2006 at the age of 25 and she left behind her mom and her son and her father. Her son was young at the time, he's now 14 years old. And then her mom, um, she died on the first and it was a mother's birthday. It was the most saddest period for most of us who knew her and also who knew Bushe. And at the time we were thinking more about Tumtanake because once, um, the mother of the child is no longer there. People worry about how is the child going to grow up and who's going to take care of the child, especially if a person was a lesbian and you wonder where the girlfriend was, if the girlfriend was still in her life, and so on and so on. I didn't know the people that we are remembering, and I guess I came into the activism world way too late when they had left the world. But I feel Uguti, remembering them is important because now we do remember Abantu Uguti. They paved a way for us to be where we are today as LGBTIs, as lesbians, to be visible, to learn how to raise our voices and to stand strong and say we are here and we are here to stay. I was in 2006 when they both passed on. I was actually still 15 at that time. So <laughs> it proves that, you know, life, life is something that needs to be cherished and also looking at the DVDs that we've seen of Ubusi Nobuhle, you realize that activism is not something that just started now because Nina is a young person, I'm, a, I'm an activist. So it says to me that activism has been there for a long time and actually written activism has been there. So for me, it means that it pushes me to even write more and be active. The people that have fallen, but more importantly, I, I want to thank them for their activism, especially in HIV and AIDS, because it's, it's been stigmatized a lot and a lot of people are scared to come out, and even if they don't have to come out, but a lot of people don't go and test and know their status, but for the fact that they came out and said, this is who I am, I'm a lesbian woman and I'm HIV positive, and they stood and, you know, they believed in that and they did their best, I guess, until, well, death came to their side and more importantly I'd like for us to not just talk about activism as in gays and lesbians or homosexuality but HIV and AIDS it's still there a lot of people are still dying can we continue to talk about it I haven't met them uh, both of them but I feel that I have met them because uh, through the journey of visiting their parents like from calling um, uh, no, and speaking to them over the phone, I felt, you know, that I've met them. And also as a, as a parent myself, as a lesbian mom myself, I feel I do not want to get lost in history as well when, if I should pass on. I do not want to get lost in, in paperwork when, when anything should happen to me. And the fact that they have kids, Ogani Ubushe has a child, and I've met uh, Ubushe's son, he's a beautiful boy. You know, um, and looking at the pictures, is Tom Bebeta no Mawake. You know, she really loved her son from even on, on, on the documentary, Rip for Who I Am. We had Lala Ninganya, she was a beautiful person. You know, I wish, I wish I, I had met her because at that time, you know, lesbians, uh, I feel, they were free to talk about their children. These days, you know, about feeling and stuff like that. Why do you want to do that? And yeah, it's been quite a beautiful journey for me um, 
to today because that is a relationship that I've developed and a relationship that I've, 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 I've made with um, both their parents. So, Siabong. Okay, from their story, Minam Shoguti, they are very inspiring because I approach 25 and for them to have passed on at that tender age, it makes me realize that you can't wait until you must start working now because life is too short. So they're an inspiration to see God there and, you know, make a difference.